Hey, how's everyone doing today? Okay, so I figured I'd shoot a video because a company by the name of Hoem sent me a handheld gimbal. It was about a month ago and I never took it out of the box. It's the Hoem V2, version two gimbal, handheld. Anyways, so I figured I'd try it out. And so far it seems to be pretty cool. Other than that, I do a little walkthrough of where I stand with my sim rig. I still call it like a sim frame because it's not really like a cockpit or nothing, but I'm pretty happy with how things came out. So what I'm using for hardware, software, whatnot, is to start out, I use like a three monitor setup. I have a few other monitors, but I use this three monitor setup over here on this side of the room where the Razor chair is. This is where I play like Call of Duty, Squad, Quake Champions. Quake's one of my more played games. Me and my buddy were always jumping in that. He's out of state right now, so when he gets back, I'm sure we got some catching up to. So as far as hardware, I'm using the Shure microphone which is an XLR microphone with the L I use a lot of Elgato stuff. I really do like Elgato products. So I'm using the Elgato low profile boom arm and don't mind my gimbal. Okay. So you can see that right there and it's really cool the way it works. I can really adjust it up, down. I can lower, I can do a lot of things with it. I'm also using the wave XLR. That really comes in like so, that is so handy. And I like to use the Logitech wireless headset. It's the Logitech Pro X headset. Great sound. I like the sound that it gives them like some of the military games, like, like I said, either Quake, a squad, or COD, whatever that may be. This monitor right here, specifically is used just for when I'm working on the sim rig. I like to use a monitor versus a television because it just seems to be easier to use. It, it has the, more of the features, the things I, I, you know, to adjust it. Mo monitors are made for computers, TVs are made for eh, TVs, they're entertainment. It's, let's just face it, they don't work the same as a monitor. But all the monitors are 1440, no, 1440p at 165 hertz. The computer is in a Lian Lee case. It has a Gigabyte Master, Aorus Master motherboard. It's a 7000 series, so I'm running the 7950 CPU in it with a MSI. Yes, it's an MSI water-cooled. 4090 video card, RTX 4090, which blew me away when I seen what the frame rates were like after going from the 3090 to, wow. Uh, I was like, I think it was like 80 frames more. I mean, it was expensive, but worth every penny. So, down underneath it, I always keep a USB hub and that's just for powering things like the headset over here. It has the track IR. That is a third party track IR that overkill. He has a YouTube channel and he does a lot of Microsoft flight simulator, but he also gets into some of the DCS, which I do. And he, guy turned me on to that. I ordered one and believe me, it blows away the one that comes with the track IR Pro 5. It, it just, it, there's no comparison. It, the movement, it just, it's there. It's on the money and it's heavy duty. It doesn't, it's not flexible. It doesn't move around. It, it's just probably one of the best investments I've made for that headset. So the headset itself, that's a steel seal or whatever, but it's wired. I like to go wired with this game. It gives a totally different sound than the Logitech. I like the way it sounds with DCS. Fantastic, fantastic game. 
fantastic sound. Okay, so I'm almost done with the chair. I've got the notch cut out. I keep this pad on it right now. But I decided I didn't like just sitting on it the way it was. So this is going to be, I'm going to get rid of this. What I am going to do, and what I'm having done right now, is I ordered some artificial sheepskin. And it's flexible. It's two-way, uh, they call it two-way flexible um, artificial sheepskin. So it has some flex to it. I brought it to a seamstress. I gave them pictures of just that part of the seat. And I'm actually going to pick it up this week. And I'll do a little video when I put that on so you can see how it looks. It looks just like the ones, the type that go in the F-18 or the 16 or the Hornet, whatever. And I'm really looking forward to that. I, I don't like sitting on this two and a half inch pad. Over here, I'm using the Win Wing Orion 2 F-18 setup. I do have a F-16. I put that away because switching back and forth, is just it's a lot of hassle. You get used to one and then you wanna fly the other planes and you gotta get, it's it just, wow. So, I was thinking about doing a rig where I could just like, you know, slide. I've seen a couple guys where they can slide one in, slide the other one out, but I don't have the room here. So I'm just going to put it away for now and sit on it. And I do mostly all F-18, 14, 15. So I really don't need that other, the, the F-16 one as much. Although I love the plane. It's a blast to fly. All right. So where do we stand with this? So... I built the mount that goes on a desk. Monster Tech makes one almost identical. Literally, I they, they put the specs online and I just, I hate to say it, but it was a lot less money to just make my own. I measured it out at the shop, cut it all up, ordered the screws, the bolts, the pieces, and I, I, I put it together. It was, it was simple. I got the end caps to go on it and everything. It was just, everything's on Amazon. Um, the place to get this extrusion, this aluminum pipe, or you want to call it square tubing, is a company called 8020. I don't think you're going to find a place in the U.S. that you're going to get better prices and with everything available. I looked high and low. And if you go on eBay, you're going to wait a month and you're lucky if you get the right piece. If you go on Amazon, very limited to what they have. They do have some 80-20 stuff. Basically, that's what this is called, 80-20 stock. Most of the bolts that go with it are 8 millimeter. Okay, so we get that done. And I'm also using a keyboard with it. I would have liked to get it moved up a little bit more. I'm thinking about rigging something up where I can do that. But it's the Asus. It's doesn't matter if it's a generic one, whatever. It's a 10 keyless. I needed a shorter one, so I went with that route. The displays are coming out awesome. What I did with the displays is in back of my computer, I purchased, and you, you can't just get any one. You, if you're going to get it, it's a few more bucks, but if you're going to get a USB expansion card, you need to get one that's powered, so you're going to have an additional say a SATA, not a SATA cable, but you're gonna have a power cable, or yeah, a SATA, something going into it to give it more power because the first one I tried, it had five USB ports, but they all ran off of one channel and it didn't give any signals. It, it was nightmare. So if you're gonna put the three displays into it, and that's what I wanted, displays going directly into the motherboard as far as the the MFDs, I, no problem with them. I ended up picking up a hub, a couple of hubs, and put that stuff in there. Worked out beautiful. But for directly for for these little displays, I wanted that going directly into the computer. I tried it in a hub, and it just kept like they kept blinking. Even a good hub. I was using um, one that I think it was John Self had told me to get. He's got a YouTube channel. Thanks, John. Good guy. 
Growling Sidewinder, another guy that helped me out, YouTube channel, awesome guy. Video producer, he was he, he answered all kinds of questions for me. So there's some really good people out there. And then there's some that you can write to and they just, they're, they're way above getting back to you. And I, I, I will always answer any question anybody ever sends to me or anybody ever asks me. So off the track a little bit, like always, I start rambling. So the HUD, UFC, everything's all programmed. Went right in, got it all squared away. The track IR, I tried it up here. It kept getting in my way. It was driving me crazy. I could see it in the screen. So I loaded over there and messing around with the app, I got the settings adjusted and it works, it works fine. I can look up, down, left, back. It's, it's, it's perfect. I, I got really lucky. So the wing wing top gun setup, pretty much squared away. I did some wire cable in and some cable management and I've never been good with that stuff. I don't know why. I wish I was like my brother. He could he could turn a bird's nest into a work of art. I, I'm just not good with cable management. I got most of it pretty tidied up. It's not as neat as I would like. I have what they call cable management boxes that I'm going to put all the hubs and everything inside of. They're plastic boxes with openings in the back and the sides. You put your, hub, your USB hub in it. Cur what, you know, you can curl up your wire in a bit. Not too tight. You don't want to break anything or bend anything. But when you place it all in there and it's got a lid that goes down and hides everything. Kind of nice looking. Um, actually, I, I do have that right here. Well, I like this this gimbal. I mean, I can walk and it stays nice and smooth. Cool. Anyways, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. I picked this one up at Amazon. See, that's the back part. Everything comes out and goes to where it needs to go. Stuff gets fed in the sides. You pop the lid on it. Good to go. I think it was like $10. It was cheap. So I'm going to finish setting that up. The seat itself, which I should have said when I was talking about the seat, the back's adjustable, of course. It's a cheap seat. It's not nothing big. That's why I didn't have a problem cutting into it. I added a slider to it. And it came out just the way I wanted it. I had to build up to get it a little bit higher. I, I don't like sitting on the floor. I know a lot of the race car drivers, sim drivers do that. I think with the flight sim, you need to be up a little bit more for me anyways. So another thing I added in was a stream deck. Beautiful. I can put anything I want on there. I don't have to use icons. I just press the buttons, DCS, track IR. Um, the home screen, tools, whatever, whatever I want, it's right there. I picked up a cheap um, cooler mat. Well, I don't know how cheap it is, but I actually got that free. That was sent to me as a reviewer well over a year ago. And we're on to, I picked up the Verpal ZM2 T50, I think. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, but. I really like it a lot better than the, um, the other one that they give you, the, the smaller one. Uh, I lost the name for a second there. Pardon me. I like it because it doesn't wobble around as much. This this thing, it, it's, it's, you pull it back, it, once you get it configured, boom, it, it's, it's awesome. I was going to go with the three, but the three is made more also to be used with a collective, and I don't like flying helicopters, just not into it. I tried it, and I'm nothing against it, but just whatever floats people's boat. I wanted to make a mouse pad, so I picked up. I had this cut, and this came with the frame, which I did some cutting on that and re-welding as well. And I used some adhesive, sprayed it on the back of a mouse pad, trimmed it up. Also, you got it's like... It's like a glue. You got to let it get tacky. You put it on the mouse pad. You put it on the metal. Stick it down. Boom! It's there forever. 
And yeah, that stuff ain't coming off. I was looking at the Samsung televisions and they're really nice, but I ended up going with the Sony. It's a 4K, 120 hertz. It has all the bells and whistles that come with it. I mean, there's some of them are more expensive, but it's a QLED, not the OLED. And the reason I didn't want to go with OLED is because a lot of times I always leave my monitors on and I know they get burned in. So I probably would have a problem with that. Another Elgato product, the face cam. And now, of course, now they come out with the face cam 4K Pro. I think it's at 30 or 60 and it's pretty expensive and I'm kind of hoping they send me one to review someday, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. But that, this face cam, the Delgado, it's, it's great for, I think it's 1080p at 60 or something like that. Gives really good video. Uh, there goes my, my gimbal starting to go low. I don't think I charge it. I only charge it for like 10 minutes. So I can't keep this going too long anyway. So around the back, Let's take a look down here real quick. I have the MFG foot pedals. Love them. They work great. What I would like to do is find some aluminum pedals. I mean, I'm, I'm talking the MFG rudder. This is the version three. It, it's plug and play. You don't have to worry about programming it, any of that stuff. You hook it up, download the app, you configure it once, and it's good to go. But I'd like to get pedals on there that maybe are like a, more similar to the real ones, like a metal, aluminum, something really light. Been looking around, not too much luck. Of course, the F18 handle. That's my favorite handle right there. Up on the wall, I keep my F14 and the 16 handle. The 14 only works with the 14 pretty much. The 16, that goes with a couple different types of planes. And as well as the 18, that goes with a few different types of planes. So those are used more than anything else. The 14, I, I, like, I like flying the F14, awesome plane. It just always feels like it's falling apart on you when you're flying, I don't know why, it's crazy. So I think that about wraps it up. If you're gonna get hubs, I recommend you definitely get good ones. What I was told to get, um, it was John Self actually. Again, thanks John. He told me get the Serb, Serbent, Sabrent, Sabrent hubs and also these were Winter. These were really recommended. They were right pretty much eat one. I don't regret getting that either. A little bit less money than the, than the, the servant, but the quality is great. So I'm not going to complain about none of that. You can see where everything's going directly into the back of that PC. I've got little pieces of tape on it telling me what is what. It can get confusing. As far as the MFDs go, the button part, I think these are called DDIs. Um, it was weird. I could not get mine to like left on the left, right on the right. I tried in the program. I tried moving things, switch things around. I just got tired of it. And I said, you know what the simple thing is? I took out a couple of the screws on each one. I put the right one on the left one because that's what it was reading in the app, left on the right. And it fixed my problem. So maybe they are made specifically. I'm not sure. I didn't think so, but... Hey, so this is pretty much where I stand. Um, getting to the point where I think I, I think I'm finished. But you know something? You always find something else. Always. Oh my God! It just never ends. I wish I could just be happy, and that was it. Oh, I am happy, but of course I'll see something and I'm gonna want it. Like already in my head is like, oh, pad that goes on the chair made by I think it's NXT or. It's that company, I was watching a review on that, and it looks like a blast. It gives you kind of a more immersed feeling into the game, but I don't want to get too far into that. I haven't got it yet. It's a couple hundred bucks. Wow, 
a lot of money. All right, folks, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Looking forward to doing that, starting getting back into some more hardware reviews. And I'm also going to start streaming. So maybe we'll see you there. Other than that, folks, I'm signing off. Have a great day. Peace.